Welcome back. Now, a Makasa family is devastated after police arrived at their home and began excavations. Uh, they were searching for the remains of Dennis Margaret Kutsia, who was reported missing on the 22nd of September in 2010. While no remains were found on the premises, stories started spreading on social media, speculating who the murderer could be. A fake picture of the remains of Dennis was also circulated, and ENC's Nobesutu Hejana is following the story for us, and she joins us now live. Nobesutu, very bizarre, somebody going missing in 2010, and suddenly you get police coming in to search for his remains in your yard. What are the police saying with regards to this particular case? Well, Masejo, it all started on social media. In fact, about three or four pictures of uh, a dead person, uh, remains of a dead person, were posted on Facebook in one of the pages here in Makassar. And uh, the residents here saying uh, when those pictures were circulating, um, police were then called, or rather they saw police um, coming to this particular house, where uh, a house belonging to Miss Denise Kutia, who went missing back in 2010, so when upon of the arrival here, when I spoke to uh, Colonel Andre Trout, he did say that they were acting on a tip-off, uh, but they can't say where they got that information. But they came here and started excavating in hopes of finding remains, but no remains were found. Uh, he does say that uh, the investigation into the missing person is still ongoing, and uh, they will be um, continuing with that search, but no one has been arrested so far. But this is what Andre Trout had to say say the, the finer aspects of the investigation can unfortunately not be disclosed we're sitting with a with a missing persons report uh, dating back to 2010 um, Denise could see is still regarded as a missing person um, and in our investigation that's been going on for almost 12 years uh, information comes to light and it's we are duty bound to follow up on information so, Nobisuch, I'm interested to know um, if you've spoken to the family whose home was searched. Um, how are they feeling about these rumors that were spreading just because police were seen um, in their yard? Now people are probably thinking that they had anything to do with that missing man. Well, Masako, I'm actually standing on top of the... I don't want to say a grave because nobody was found here, but it's where the police were searching. Um, it's the backyard of Ms. Denise uh, Kutia's home, but I'm now with her daughter, uh, Kharika. Um, Kharika, you were telling me that you found out about police being here excavating while you were still at school because you're working as a teacher. Tell me, how did you feel when you actually walked in and saw people digging up here? Um, to me, it felt like this is not my home. Um, I was stopped at the gate. Um, I couldn't enter. They went to call the captain that was in charge of this whole operation. And he came to the front and they said, okay, you can, she's staying here. She can let her come in. Then he also informed me that they are keeping my, my dad at the back because he need to stay there up until this whole operation was finished. And um, he told me also that the letter is laying inside the house on the table. I can read through it. Um, and that was basically all. But to me, it felt that, like this is not my house. Um, when I came to the, I didn't want it to come to the back because just seeing um, all these people and forensics and there was a dog and it was very strange. It, it, I was very heartbroken because I, I want to I want to get my mother by all means, but the tip off I don't understand that, and also I don't know where they got permission because they all they said is this letter, and that letter gave them permission to do all of these stuff. Mm. And tell me, how does your father feel? Because he, you were telling me that he felt like he was a suspect and many of the community members were thinking that he is behind uh, the reason why your mother is missing. Um, it's scary. It's scary because, um, I mean, they could have hurt him because all of all that, that the message that went out was my mother's um, remains was, they found it here at the back of the yard. So obviously they they thought that okay my father is the one that buried her. I don't know where they come with that, but my father is innocent and my father is also 
a lovable person. My father means the world to me and my mother means the world to him too. So I don't know where the people, but there is where it started. And it spread so quickly. Um, there was non-stop, even though the paper said there's nothing, they found nothing. Still there's uh, uncertainty and his character, our character, our dignity, our family's dignity, um, it's been broken off. I mean, he doesn't even want to walk in the road um, without anybody. There's that person, or oh, it was at the back of their yard. I can't walk in the road without somebody staring at me or so, but um, I've got nothing to hide. And my family, my father, there's nothing. He wasn't, there's nothing to prove that he's guilty, so my father is innocent. Mm. Up until there's anything, he is innocent and he's a good man. Mm. And tell me the last um, memory you have of your mother before she went missing and how have you been as a family? I mean, she's been missing for over 12 years now. It has been very hard. Um, uh, I was eight months pregnant and I had to raise my daughter with the help of the neighbors because um, you must know a dad don't know what when it comes to babies and so so my neighbors helped me to say I must do this or that I could always go to them for advice and um, it's very hard nothing is the same anymore even Christmas or stuff like that um, celebrations this nothing is the same without them the house feels very cold um, she was a warm person, she was the light of the house, and she was a God-fearing person. She would always go on her knees for everybody, and all of that is gone. We are trying to pick up the pieces and try to go on, but we, she will always be remembered. Um, I will tell my kids about her, what type of person she was. She was a very strict but also a very lovable person. And um, she had so much plans. And she was looking forward to meet my daughter. Um, yeah. All right. But Thanks. she never got the chance. Only one month to go and she would have met my daughter, but she didn't <laughs> get the chance. All right, thank you very much, um, Harika. Uh, well, Maseho police say that search is still ongoing and they will continue in ensuring that uh, they will follow up any leads uh, leading up to maybe them finding uh, Miss Denise Kutsia, who was last seen in September of 2010. All right, such a devastatingly uh, horrifying story. Thank you very much. Let's leave it there. Nobisutu, Hejana.